I'm not sure anyone asked uh, the Brits while they were fighting the Nazi Germany whether why don't you support the people there with with some some uh, food and 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 other equipment. Uh, Israel pulled out Gaza back in 2006. This is no longer can be called occupied uh, by Israel. We are not there. So it's always very easy to most of the people around the world. Uh, everything, every time things are happening, well, you are responsible. You are sieging Gaza. We're not sieging Gaza. They have a route to Egypt. They can, they can import whatever they want through Egypt. But in, in such times, you know, we have, again, uh, suffered these atrocities and to expect that we should keep life as normal and keep providing them with everything, I think this is, this is awkward. I think what our government is doing is the, is the reasonable act. But once again, we are stressing it again and again. We are not in a war against the Palestinian people. We are not in a war against the Palestinian people in Gaza. Yes, we are unhappy with, and we think that those who are dancing and cheering and supporting those animals for killing and butchering civilians, innocent civilians, they are part of this scheme. But again, we are not going after innocent civilians in Gaza, even though if they da danced on the, on the roofs. We are going after Hamas. We are going to crack down the infrastructure of Hamas. And same as humanitarian uh, situation. This will have to be solved. I st honestly don't think the uh, only others for this should be Israel. Um, I, I think Egypt should and will play a role as well. But uh, once again, we will do what is necessary to be done at the moment. In, and still, we're trying to avoid as much as possible collateral damage of, of non-involved or non-combatant civilians. That's our philosophy, that's, these are our, our values, that's how we engage wars.